Welcome to day six. As you can see, I'm still in my tent. It's now 20 to 10. I gave myself a really nice long lie in this morning because I felt like I needed it. I just wanted to sleep and sleep and sleep. But I've just been fiddling around, did my video from yesterday. It's been really hard to upload the videos because I've, I've um, not got very much data left. So I need to find Wi-Fi to upload them. And you know, I've done five days of walking. Yesterday was a really hard day, so I've decided to give myself a zero day today. Um, so what I'm going to do is get all of, try to get all of my clothes together as much as I can. I think there's one top, it's like an extra merino wool long sleeve thing, just in case I got really cold. Um, that's still clean, so I can put that on. Um, I might wash my waterproof trousers on the outside and then wear them which means that basically I can wash every item of clothing that I've got. There's a laundrette down the road. I can get things dry hopefully as well. Um, wash my towel and just sort of have a reset day completely. Everything seems a little bit kind of messy and yucky. So it'd be really good just to tidy everything up, get my logbook sorted, have a look at the book properly to see where I'm going. And um, I'm also just rest. Actually, my legs feel strong, which is good but my feet need a rest, my shoulders definitely need a rest and I think I just need to explore a bit, eat some proper food and get myself back in shape again for moving on tomorrow. So it's completely amazing what clean clothes, dry stuff can do and a bit of decent food. I've come back from being in town and I did my laundrette stuff so I've got all dry clothes. The weather is a lot better now as you can see it's not raining anymore. So um, I've had a chance to dry all my covers. Now I'm making a cup of tea down here on my little stove which is just here. So that's good because it uses uses some of the fuel up as well because I've got this litre of fuel which is probably a bit overkill it's very heavy so I need to try and actually use as much as I can really um, also just having a day of eating I've had a, just a couple of hours sleep as well it's been really really pleasant I've got two neighbours there's a lady over here that's also walking the office dyke so the walk I did yesterday it took me 11 hours and felt like a really really hard day she set off at 8 o'clock this morning and um, she got here at one o'clock so I think she's quite a quick walker quicker than me that's for sure but she said she didn't bring a stove she hasn't got all the food um, so I can see that her pack's going to be an awful lot lighter than mine which probably makes a huge difference I mean I'm not lightweight traveling by any means I've got traveling in style here I've got you know all my food for the whole for the whole time actually I don't really need to buy anything I mean it's nice if I do supplement it and just get a bit of variety but I don't need to and um, just got a lot more creature comforts I think so but yeah the fuel that's that's a heavy weight it's got to be over a, um, over a kilo because the bottle itself is quite a sturdy bottle so lessons learnt today not to bring huge amounts of fuel with me I'm actually this is the first time I'm using the Trangia. I've got the little mini Trangia, as you can see. Um, it's very practical. So it's got this little kind of frying pan lid with it. I'm boiling some water right now. So that doubles up as a frying pan. Um, but to tell you the truth, I don't think I'm going to bring it on the next trip. I'm going to actually bring a gas stove that I've got. So the gas will weigh a lot less. Um, I think the container that it's in is a lot more practical because everything fits together inside the pan. So that's just going to work better for me. It's going to save weight and I just think it makes more sense. So I thought I'd show you exactly what I'm taking for each day of food during my hike. So as you can see, I've got one day's food here. I label the days. So in each of the packs, I have the following. I've got a bag of overnight oats. This is one cup of oats. And then a mixture of different fruits, nuts, 
seeds. Whatever I feel like putting in really. I think this one's got a quarter of a cup of mixed dried fruit and, um, and nuts. It's got co the white stuff is the coconut uh, milk powder. And I've got linseeds. And I've got some sour cherries hiding in here somewhere as well. In a clump. So that's for breakfast. So all, to, all I do for that is I add one cup of water to the bag the night before. Then give it a squidge round. And in the morning it's ready to eat. So lunch is a series of snacks. I've got Nature Valley Bar. I've got a homemade giant flapjack. It's a flapjack that I put um, fruit and nuts in. Then I, I've got some crackers. The crackers vary depending on what I get hold of during the day. Um, for dinner, I've got a couple of these tent meals. In this day, you can see it's Moroccan main meal. So the reason I put two in, there's 500 packs each, 500 calorie packs, which gives me the option if I come across a shop, then I can supplement my lunch and eat a bit more. Maybe I'll buy an apple or a banana or actually a whole sandwich or something. Um, so I can either eat one or two, depending on the, the type of day I had. And this is a little hot chocolate pack. So it's a bit of a special treat. It also doubles up as a dessert. Just mix hot water in and it's done. And then in each pack I put two tea bags. I like green tea, so that's what I've got. And I've got my vitamin tablets for the day. I've got a multivitamin and I've got magnesium and calcium tablets. These ones have vitamin D in them as well. So I've got three, I take them throughout the day. So once I've um, opened the pack, I know whether I've taken my vitamins for the day or not because I can see if they're in the pack or not still. And that's everything.